A reliable PC with a set of useful software is a faithful friend of every YouTube creator. But not everything that's free turns out to be good for your friend. Many popular programs that are often installed on Windows are long outdated, waste disk space and harm performance. And some of them even endanger your personal data and the resources of your computer. In this video, I've collected 7 programs that are definitely worth uninstalling from your computer. Watch this one carefully so you don't miss any of the seven. By the way, the last one will probably surprise you. Hi, my name is Roman. This is Mobavi Vlog, your go-to channel for making cool videos and growing your YouTube channel. Last week, I made a video about some useful yet free programs for Windows that not only generally make life, work and study process easier, but also in one way or another help creators in their regular work on their YouTube channel. For example, to edit videos faster, search for additional content, edit images, write scripts, negotiate with advertisers and so on. By the way, check this video out if you missed it. Today I decided to continue this topic and look at it from a different angle. I gathered a selection of seven quite popular free programs which are worth removing from your computer or replacing with more modern, convenient and safe analogs. So let's begin. Alright, the first program that goes to the recycle bin is CCleaner. I know for many people this is a familiar utility that helps to remove unwanted files and programs. I've been using it myself for years since I was in high school. CCleaner has been removing unnecessary files from my computer for years, but now it's time to remove CCleaner itself. In the past, CCleaner did work better, more accurately and was generally more convenient than the built-in utility to remove programs. But the program has stopped evolving and now Windows tools handle the removal of files and programs better and most importantly safer. That's what happens when you stop developing and settle for the success of the day. In addition, the program has been caught up in data security scandals many times recently. If you want the functionality of CCleaner but the built-in utility isn't enough for you, you can also try Glary Utilities. The next program is LightShot. At first glance, this is a light and handy piece of software for taking screenshots. You can take a picture of your computer screen, immediately add text to the image or select some area. And most importantly, the screenshot is automatically uploaded to the cloud and you can share a link to it. Isn't that great? Not really. The thing is, LightShot and in fact many other little known free screenshot programs doesn't secure your screenshots. Your personal screenshots are uploaded to the cloud and in theory anyone can access them and also it's not easy to remove your images from the cloud. So either don't take screenshots of your personal data or switch to a more secure screenshot program. By the way, Movavi has just such a program, Movavi Screen Recorder. Not only is the program safe because it only saves screenshots on your computer, but it also has many more advanced features like program window capture, video screen recording, scheduled recording, webcam recording and others. Number 3 in my uninstall queue is the one's most popular file archiving program, WinRAR. First of all, WinRAR is actually a paid program. I know, this is a big surprise to some people. That said, the program is severely outdated. I don't see the point in using WinRAR when there is 7-zip, which is reliable, free and more modern. I mentioned this program in a past video, it was even included in my top 10 must-have free programs for Windows. I know, today we're talking talking about useless software, but if you're looking for a great intuitive video editing program you might not want to delete, I have something to offer. For example, the latest Movavi Video Editor Plus 2022 is a great solution for everyone who wants to create cool YouTube and TikTok videos without having to master complicated professional software. This intuitive program includes tools for basic and advanced video editing and a big built-in effects collection which can be renewed with the help of themed add Add-ons from the Movavi Effects Store. Movavi Video Editor Plus is designed to save you time. Many operations can be done in a few clicks. And the best thing about this program is it runs on average computers. So basically, Movavi Video Editor Plus 2022 can help you make cool videos for your YouTube channel, TikTok, and other social media, even if you are not experienced at video editing or don't have a powerful computer. Use our special coupon VLOG20 or simply click on the link in the description to get a 
20% discount on the annual subscription to Mobile UPD Asia Plus 2022. Feel free to share this coupon with your friends. Meanwhile, let's continue with the list of useless and harmful programs that should be uninstalled. Number four is the once legendary U-Torn Classic. It was once the best in its niche, but not today. The program has gotten too many annoying ads with an interface that looks like it's still 2009, but that's not the main reason to stop using uTorrent. In 2015, there was a scandal about the fact that the program secretly uses computer resources to mine bitcoins and earn money from its users, of course, at the expense of reducing the performance of their computers. The creators of the program lost the trust of millions of users. It's been six years, but I wouldn't take any chances if I were you. As a last resort, there's a web version of uTorrent and alternative programs such as QBitTorrent. Next, we have KM Player. In fact, KM Player itself is not guilty of anything. The whole family of similar players such as AIMP or GOM Player are hopelessly outdated. Most of us today listen to music via streaming platforms and there is no need to download MP3 folders to a computer, which means you don't really need a separate media player program. However, if you are used to keeping a collection of music on your computer, consider more convenient and modern analogs. For example, the Dopamine Media Player. Beautiful interface, no annoying ads, and it's open source. I love open source. No need to worry about copyright. By the way, if you're wondering where to get quality music, photos, and footage for your projects with no risks to end up with a copyright strike, I recommend you check out our special offers from our partners, Audio and Deposit Photos, on the official Movavi Vlog webpage. They have a lot to offer. Hit the link in the description to learn more and feel free to use our special promo codes. Next to the audio players is the QuickTime Video Player. If you are a Windows user, I advise you to uninstall it. And not just because it's a media player by Apple. The fact is that in 2016, Apple's top technical support and updates for the Windows version of QuickTime. At the same time, some vulnerabilities were discovered in the program that could threaten the security of your data and computer systems. Five years later, those issues haven't gone anywhere. On the contrary, in the absence of updates, the vulnerabilities have become even more dangerous. So there is no reason to leave QuickTime on your Windows PC today. Video files in QuickTime format can be opened with the free VLC player or even with the built-in Windows Media Player. Finally, the program to finish my top 7 of unwanted software is Zoom. If you're surprised, I get it. How is it possible to remove Zoom? Now we all use Zoom all the time, work remotely with Zoom, and talk on Zoom to loved ones we cannot see because of the pandemic. However, not only is Zoom not the best program in its niche, but it also can threaten data security. Unfortunately, Zoom's security is far from being great. The creator of Zoom have been repeatedly caught in scandals related to data leaks. Thousands of Zoom users' private emails and photos have been leaked to the public. In addition, the costs themselves are far from being 100% private. There were cases when intruders secretly connected to private conversations and even gained access to the user's webcam, while the user did not allow the program to turn on the webcam. Fortunately, Zoom has safer and even more convenient and reliable counterparts, such as Google Meet and Microsoft Teams. Discord is also great for group video calls. Yes, it's not just for gaming. And also, not long ago, this feature appeared in Telegram. You can make calls from the mobile app, the web version, and the desktop version. Today, we have talked about 7 most unwanted programs for your PC. Now, it's time to talk about useful ones. Be sure to check out my top 10 free must-have programs for Windows. Thank you so much for watching this video. Remember the likes. They are important for the future of our channel. My name is Roman. I will see you around.